What's going on Crunch Nation? It's Crunch here coming at you with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today boys, we got another banger video for you. We are going to be doing a coin making method. Basically uh, what we did in the past, um, I basically did it every single week. I basically went over a lot of the cards that I'm investing in. or I buy cards during uh, Friday and Saturday, then I relist them. Saturday night, Sunday, even Monday, depending on where the prices are. Sometimes I actually put them up a little earlier than I should. I probably could make a little bit more coin, so I've waited, but I don't like waiting, and I always like taking it for sure profit. But if you guys um, like the video, make sure you drop a like on the vid, subscribe, turn that noti bell, make sure the notifications are turned to all anytime we make an upload, you will be notified at that point. So at this point right now, I'm going to be putting up a picture of all the things that I invested in. Um, what you did, guys did see was some of the cards that I bought and um, on the screen. But now this picture breaks down exactly a couple different things. So you're going to see the weekend investments and then you're going to see the legends built. Now that there's two different things there. Weekend investments mean I just bought the card and relisted them. So what you're going to see here is a bought and a sold. So the bought is how much on average I bought these cards for. I always round up just in case because I'd rather be wrong a little bit on the profit margin. And the sold is how much I sold it for after taxes. So if I sold for 64K, I probably sold the card for a little over 71K on average. So keep that in mind. I do factor in the taxes there and 88 legends. I just kind of did a broad thing because I bought a quite a bit of 88s and just relist them. I didn't want to take up this whole page with the different ones that I had. So Bo Jackson was the next one. I bought 10 of them. A lot of times that his price would fluctuate and I didn't even wait to relist him. I just kept putting them back up for an hour auction and I was putting them up uh, right around like 149K. 148k you know right around there to see if people would buy and they still bought day of all you had to do was buy it and relist it it was the easiest thing ever you were making tons of coins um, the edrin james was one that i probably won't invest into too much because the price really didn't come up like i'd hope reggie wayne was another one um too many wide receivers out there so maybe not something i really want to invest in again I do like Junior Seau. He's been one that I've invested in quite a lot over the last uh, two months, basically since he's been out. Definitely worth it. Now, the thing with like Steve Smith and John Randall, like Steve Smith, it might even be better off to build his set if you can get the 90 really cheap. But the John Randall's definitely worth building the set over the weekend because his price shoots back up he's one of the newer legends now next weekend might not work as well because we're getting series three but these are things for you guys to keep in mind that you can look at the market see how it is and just pick cards up and relist them this is to give you guys ideas you don't have to follow the same cards as me you might be able to even make more profit than me all you got to do is keep trying different things and relisting cards i know the 88s 90s work like a charm new legends when they fluctuate a lot they're definitely worth it now the 190 john randall that you're going to see this one was actually friday night i um, bought one for 130 and he was the last one up so i relisted it well the last one besides like ones that were like 250k so i relisted it for uh it, it was, what was it? It was like 200 and some or so, okay? A little over 200 and he sold just because he was that much cheaper than the other ones. I plan on actually building the set with him, but it didn't work out that well. <laughs> I would rather have just done what I did. But you're gonna see the weekend investment, the 308K was that, that was the one that I sold. But the legends built 92 John Randalls. They were the biggest, thing that we could have done we made 49k every single time we made one and the 89 morton anderson's a lot of people aren't filtering kickers so that's definitely a profit margin that you guys want to um, 
look at. So profit from just a weekend investments, 418K and building the legends, 358K. Now everything totaled up equals 776K and that's going off of, um, you know, just making a lot of coins. We did a lot this weekend to keep our coin count up. We didn't really do too, too much to the team. We did add John Hanna. Um, I will show you guys some of the filters that I use to get these cards, but mainly I use the phone app. Honestly, it's the easiest. You can actually click on cards, filter them. I'm not going to show you guys that, but it's pretty simple what we do. Um, we basically just go to the auction house and filter down. So we'll go to, um, we'll show you the 88s first. Now it's not a big profit margin, but once you guys are able to do this and hit a lot of cards, all you have to do is buy relist. It's really easy. There's pretty much no, um, nothing bad that can really happen from it. So you see that six for 65 K, but the difference is you can't sell them for any more than 71, 72 right now. So it's really not worth it to get that because you're just going to lose. But when you can get them under 60K for the past couple weeks, which will change this weekend. But keep that in mind. You, this one is absolutely worth doing. So we'll take that and we're going to put them up for 71 um, in a little bit. So I'm not that worried about it. Uh, we might even be able to make a little bit more because that is LT. But uh, that's the point, guys. You just go filter through, get that. And one thing I can tell you guys, this Friday, I believe the market is going to crash huge. So if you guys are smart, I would sell a lot of players Thursday night on your squad that you don't plan on using throughout the week. Um, or, you know, anything that you can just get away with just selling it. Go ahead, do it, and buy again Friday when the market crashes in the morning. We are getting uh, monthly rewards. Series 3 is dropping. And we're getting the uh, the 50. And I believe the 50 will go up to 93 overalls this week. So what's that mean? All the other cards that are lower overalls will drop. So keep that in mind. If you can find a bunch of these cards extremely cheap, I would go for it. I would go and just get a ton of stuff if you can because your opportunity to make a ton of profit on this upcoming week is insane so if you guys have any questions at all make sure you drop a like or uh, comment down below if you like the video make sure you drop a like on the vid subscribe comment and turn that noti bell but we are out boys peace